Today we are going to be installing a Rescue X13. We've got an X13 on a Heil air handler that is dead. And so rather than costing the customer the money of an OEM, we're going to go ahead and swap it out for a Rescue X13. It has been programmed from the supply house. I would imagine that any contractor that uh, or supply house that is selling the Rescue X-13s should have someone trained in the process. So here we go. As Talon had mentioned on his video about the condenser fan motor, you want to make sure that when you line up your bolts, you don't hit that threaded set screw spot. So when I set my puller in, I set it off to the side a little bit so that I've got bolts on either side where the set screw's in the middle. And I even it up and we'll check my sight glass or sight hole to uh, get that shaft lined up so that I don't uh, pull it off center. Once we've got everything tightened up, just a matter of setting the back up wrench, cranking it down until she comes loose. I think it would actually be nice to use uh, vice grip to hold on to your backup and your drive bolt so that um, you didn't have to worry about them falling off. But you make do with what you got. And she lifts on. Pretty straightforward. So we got the motor pulled and she's tight. Not, uh, not free spinning like she should be. So we definitely got issues. Got nice smooth shaft up movement. We'll get our belly band on and get it put into this housing. We've got our OEM wiring harness and it ties right in. Though, I think I see a problem already. That's not cool. You probably can't tell. But, if you look at the common terminal for the high voltage plug-in, it's been recessed. And, uh, that's not good. We're going to have to do some surgery. See if we can get that to pull out again. That sucks. If you can see that, that yellow wire right there pushed back whenever I tried to plug in the harness. And the harness fits, but that fitting or spade is obviously a little tight. So we're going to push that out and uh, see what if we can just tweak it a little bit so it'll take that other piece nicely okay so we got that spade to come out a little bit where it should be and um, we'll try this again
that felt better. I hate to even check it, but we probably should. nothing blue was on number two now we'll stick her back in the blower housing well I thought you might be curious to see the difference in the original motor and the Rescue X13. This has a little bit larger module shape but it is pretty much the same size and uh, belly band goes tight no issues there comes the easy part. We've got fan movement where it wouldn't move before. doesn't stick out awfully far definitely not any farther than the other motor did so we're gonna go ahead and put the door back on and check the charge well we've definitely got an issue with subcooling but our superheat isn't terrible charging this system has been covered in so many videos we won't bother with it on this one So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the X13 rescue motor video, and we'll see you on the next one.